Reminder that if you're looking for some local displays to visit tonight, head to our website WPRI.com. There you'll find a list of some of the scariest displays in our area, both in Rhode Island and southeastern Mass, put together by Kim Kalunian. But many of the setups are weather permitting, so let's send it over to TJ with a look at that spooky forecast. I think for the most part, we're looking at okay. There could be an isolated shower or two. There's some out there at the moment, but it uh, looks okay. No raincoats needed out there trick or treating. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. Newport, great visibility. We have some clouds in the distance. No rain there. Here's that live radar, and we're tracking a couple of sprinkles working their way across the region right now, mainly up in northwest Rhode Island, and a lot of that's probably not quite reaching the ground. We have more showers off to our west. They'll try and work their way through a little bit later on in the evening, but not overly impactful. Looks to be just fine for the uh, ghosts and goblins this evening. Tonight, Monday, Tuesday, low chance of anything. Uh, serious. Uh, here's a live look. The City of Providence looking southward. Here's the Highway Bridge. Great visibility this evening. Uh, skies in some areas have cleared, but clouds are tending to move back in for a little while. Temperature right now at 61. So very mild. Wind from the south southwest at 8 miles an hour. Another look at Providence. We're nice and dry here with temperatures uh, currently in the low 60s across all of southern New England, or a good portion of it. Smithfield's at 60. 59 Narragansett. New Bedford, Taunton, low 60s. Cumberland's at 60 degrees. They have a calm wind up there in the northeast corner of the state. So we've got this little piece of energy rotating around the backside of this weather system that came on through over the last 24 hours. Once we shake that, we're looking a okay for uh, the daytime tomorrow. Let's take a look at it hour by hour forecast. We are looking at the skies to clear out tonight. I'm going to take you right into Monday morning and stop right there at 8 o'clock. Looking okay. Sunshine continues into the afternoon. Uh, we are looking at probably the best day of the week. Tomorrow after that, it does get colder as we head into uh, the latter part of the week, especially so Monday morning breaks down like this kind of chilly temperatures around sunrise, upper 40s to around 50 uh, 10 a.m. up to noontime temperatures climb into the upper 50s in the afternoon. Let's pinpoint things for you. We're looking at sunshine, seasonable temperatures in the low 60s in Charlestown, Narragansett at 62 looks good in Newport at 62 degrees, beautiful upper 50s, low 60s in Northern Rhode Island, Johnston, Providence, on over into Barrington, Warren and Bristol, Fall River, New Bedford, low to mid 60s Monday afternoon with lots of sunshine. Now here's that seven day forecast. Let's go through this on Tuesday. We do have the chance for some showers, but probably not until late in the day. Better yet, likely in the evening hours and we start to see the precipitation chances go up uh, later in the afternoon into the evening. Temperatures also cooler on Tuesday and then after that looks even cooler on Wednesday. High temperatures of 53, but look at that morning low. We're starting out in the 30s on a Wednesday morning. So yeah, pretty chilly uh, to start the day Wednesday and every day for the rest of the week. We'll be starting out in the 30s. Uh, Thursday might have a mixture of sunshine and clouds around, but I think we're generally going to be dry and staying dry. It looks like through next weekend. We are going to watch for a potential ocean storm that could uh, pass close to us. But for now, it looks like it'll be staying away and looking at some cool temperatures as we head into next weekend. Full forecast always at WPRI.com.